to test that our button is working okay I think I covered quite a lot so what I'll do is uh, I'll just go to okay one more uh, the way you can uh, build this so that you can see that loaded in inventor is to go for this solution and then right click on it and they say build solution so it basically builds and if you have any error it will show you like debug set so I suggest you do this or else you can also uh, go for this so this is the command which uh, registers your uh, DLL this is the name of the DLL and this is like slash code base registers and this is the path to your uh, ragasm.exe and I think this is uh, more or less standard in all the cases so you save this particular file as install.bat bat stand for batch files and uh, create one more with uh, uninstall.bat the only difference is uh, it has unregistered instead of uh, slash code base and uh, these two files should be kept in the folder which has your uh, main DLL file and uh, it should also have that interop.inventor.dll okay so okay what I'll do is I'll just build this so it says build in progress build succeeded now I'll start uh, Autodesk inventor so my inventor uh, is starting up so it's loading so you can see it's loading and uh, since this is uh, starting for the first time you would uh, get a pop-up with a message box I mean the message box which would show you like uh, inventor add in first time or something like that whatever text we had given so it's taking some time to load so yeah so our add-in would be added and uh, yeah you can see add in first time this is the message I click on it the inventor would start and uh, we'll open an assembly file because like uh, our add in uh, command bar would be listed only in an assembly file you click on this example open it and this is the panel bar and uh, whenever you have an assembly file open assembly related uh, panel bar would be listed here and uh, we had instructed in our add-in that our command bar should be one of these uh, command bars listed panel bars okay it's getting added and uh, this is by default assembly panel so here you are assembly 3 so this is this is what has been added so this is the icon and you can see the tooltip I click on this so it says clicking on the button would show assembly tree view okay I'll work on the assembly tree view in the next couple of uh, tutorials basically I would try to duplicate this assembly view out here I'll click on this okay and you can also double check what all had been added I go to add-ins and you can see this is the add-in which we added EACAD inventor add-in 4 it started and loaded you can also go to customize and there I'll explain you in detail first we added this command category so you can see assembly tree out here and assembly tree is the command button that is there in this particular category this category is created every time your add-in runs so be it first time or be it uh, second time or further and uh, this toolbar assembly tree is created only the first time and uh, even this assembly tree this is basically the same uh, toolbar here that has add that has been added into this particular environment so this is also created only the first time and subsequent time uh, this command category is just added to this command is just added to this toolbar and environment okay I just close this so basically this is it so this is the first version of it 
and if you want to make some changes you go to uninstall first we need to close uh, inventor and then we run this uninstall.bat once this is run open inventor let it load up then close it then make whatever changes you want in uh, visual studio then again you build this solution so basically after uninstalling the add-in you should run uh, inventor one so that it loads up once and I had this particular error like uh, if you uninstall and install at the same time so the changes are not reflected uh, properly in inventor so this is it for now and I hope to get uh, get back with more video tutorials thanks for watching